Hey everyone, things are looking up in this episode. I've got a couple of rustic farmhouse pieces that I know you'll love. So what do you say? Let's get started. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. My very first piece is called the Elegant Bird House. And I'm using all of these supplies. Everything is from Dollar Tree except for the paint. And so I'm starting out with these little arrows that are stands, I guess, for a wedding. And we're just going to take those apart because what do they look like? A picket fence. I love that. So I'm just pulling them apart and of course we can't throw away those pieces. We'll make something of those. And so I'm going to start off by painting them. I'm going to paint one of them black, two of them white, and then another one. It's going to be a surprise. The black paint is some acrylic paint, so I only needed one coat of that. But on these other ones, I used the Waverly chalk paint in white from Walmart and uh, took three coats for these. And only because of the words that were showing through, so I did have to coat those. Now, the fourth piece, I said that was a surprise, I used this beautiful um, shelf lining paper from Dollar Tree. I've always seen it and I just walk right past it. And this time I picked it up, I'm like, I've got to use this for something. It is so pretty. I'm kind of into the black and white lately with touches of browns, but I just love this. And I cut it to size and then I'm just going to use the sandpaper block that I have to cut it off. I love that look and I do it all the time. So this was super easy to do and I just, I just love that floral black and white, don't you? Here I'm just laying everything out to see how it's going to fit. That green board is one of those boards from uh, Dollar Tree that, I don't know, I don't find them very often, but when I do I grab them. But um, you can use any type of board for the shelf. And I'm using the tower blocks for the roof and I'm just going to be hot gluing those. I'm just kind of laying it out to see how it's going to fit. And then I'm just going to be gluing all of those together. And then I'm going to use some of the wax. Uh, Waverly chalk, uh, Waverly paint, wax, antique, and we're going to do the roofs and the shelf. My roofs are all put together. Now I'm going to give it two coats of the Waverly antique wax paint, and then we'll distress it with my sandpaper block. I already did the larger green board here and I already distressed it and so now we're going to do the roof. And you notice that I used hot glue for the roofs, putting those together. And you can use some wood glue, but notice that that one was kind of wiggly. I really like that when I glued them on to the picket piece because it really um, got it in there secure and perfectly right into that point. So, um, but use whatever glue that you like. The hot glue worked well for me. So now I am ready to put these on. I'm hot gluing them just on the little top parts and it held very nicely. It's coming together. Now I'm gluing on the very last piece, getting that just a little thin layer of hot glue and it worked perfectly, yes. Last one. So all of my birdhouse roofs are complete and on to the next step. So now I'm going to make the little bird hole inside the house and the Dollar Tree round sponges uh, worked out perfectly. It was the perfect size 
So make sure you get your sponge all full of paint, kind of damp it on there and twist it a little bit. And I was like, I couldn't believe how perfect that was. Now the black one, of course I didn't, I was thinking about cutting a hole in them, but I just don't think I have the right tools to do that. I didn't really know how to do that. I guess I could have used a drill or something, but I cut a little um, pattern piece from the shelf paper and I just kind of put it up there where the hole would be. And so maybe this is the back of a birdhouse and so I just thought that was super cute to sort of tie it all in together and that came out great. Yay, I love that. And now we're going to use some of the dowel rods from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna cut a couple of pieces for the perch. Hey, could we keep it long? That could be a whole family sitting on that one. <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm gonna cut a couple of inches or an inch and a half or so and um, I hot glued them on and I painted them black. But on the last one, I'm not gonna add anything because I'm gonna put a little something something there on the end. So now I'm gonna hot glue the shelf on and it's pretty, almost ready. There's a couple of things we're gonna add. And it's almost done. And our very last step, I'm going to be using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I use a lot of hot glue and I used also a jumbo popsicle stick. I just kind of cut it and laid that over the top to really, really make it secure because it is a little bit of a heavy piece, but this worked great and we are done. What do you think? I just love this piece. I think it's one of my favorite ones I've ever done. You can put whatever you like on the shelf. That bird I got at Dollar, no, at Hobby Lobby. And um, I added some lamb's ear. You can add whatever type of greenery or whatever you like on the shelf. I just think this is so adorable. And I've got it actually hanging on my patio. Where would you hang yours? Just want to take a quick commercial break and talk about my social media i'm over on facebook request to be my friend i love that because you can add pictures so i would love to see some of your crafts i'm over on instagram i have a good time over there and i have an email if you have any other questions i'm new to all this uh, crafting community it's wonderful and i want to thank my subscribers i appreciate all your support i love you guys thank you so much and my next project is called Things Are Looking Up. And I'm using these two crates and two arrows, wooden arrows from Dollar Tree and the lamb's ear uh, and some other floral stuff from Walmart. And I'm taking off the little hangers on the arrows and we're gonna paint the arrows black and I'm going to use antique wax for the crate. Here we go. Even though it's messy, I just love to paint. It's so much fun and makes you think that things are looking up. And so I'm almost done with the crates and now I'm gonna use some uh, sandpaper now to distress it just a little bit because that's where we're going to paint our writing, our little thing, and we'll get those all finished up. Looks good. And now I'm gonna be using these stencils. No, I'm gonna be gluing it together first. I have to glue the two crates together. So I'm just using hot glue again. And of course you can use, boy, look at that flaming. <laughs> it sure is hot. But you know, I have on, on uh, the setting is on mild or low. So that's weird. I wonder if it would look like if it was on high. It would have burst into flame. All right, so I'm using these little folk art stencils from Walmart and I'm just very slowly putting those on and um, I don't have a Cricut. I'm thinking about getting one. 
I'm thinking about getting a Cricut Joy, maybe. I uh, have to put some pennies away and we'll see if we can get one of those. Do you guys have a Cricut? So um, I really am thinking about it. But anyway, I'm using these stencils with some white paint and I'm all done. So in the stencils, they have this little uh, flower stencil. So I love that. I added that on there. And now we're ready to hot glue the arrows on. And um, I just thought this was so whimsical and cute. You could even like put a real plant in there, maybe like a little vine plant and um, make it grow up the arrow. But I just thought this was so fun to create. Oh yeah, look at these giant clips. You've all seen the, uh, you get six in a pack of these smaller ones at Dollar Tree. But I saw these giant ones and they were, there was two in a pack. They're huge. Uh, so they work out great. So grab those if you see them. So now I'm just using some floral foam there and I put in some flowers from Dollar Tree and also some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. We're just gonna kind of put that in there. I just kind of cut off the pieces that I wanted. And then I'm also gonna add some lamb's ear here at the end. And the last little touch is some jute twine from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I have jute twine from, what am I doing? I can't get that on there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was so funny. I was like, which way am I going? And so the jute twine here is a little bit thicker. It's from Hobby Lobby. And, um, but I do love the twine from, Hobby, uh, from Dollar Tree as well. But we're pretty much done. I love this piece. Oh, we need to add a little bow on there. And now it's complete. What a fun, simple little project. This would be great for some friends getting together and to say, go to Dollar Tree, get a couple of crates, get a couple of arrows. I've got the paint, bring some floral and you guys can make it together because things are looking up. I love it and I hope you enjoyed this too. So have fun with your little whimsical piece. Make yours today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and even a comment. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you next time on Susie's Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye everybody.